farmer from rural Maharashtra. His hip pain had become unbearable. He was not able to walk. He needed a surgery, but he couldn't afford the surgery because he couldn't afford to be in the hospital for two weeks. His crops could not wait. His family could not uh, tolerate his absence because it would be a big economic burden for them. Eventually, he underwent a surgery in which the recovery was long. He was off, uh, off the work for almost a month. He missed his entire harvest season. In short, his hip was cured, but he lost complete one year of earning because he could not uh, do his farming. So imagine if the same patient underwent a surgery, a hip replacement surgery, going back home the next day and going back to the field in seven days in a week's time. So this is the magic of direct anterior approach, total hip replacement. And today I will tell you more about it. So this along with robotics is not just a, a economical change for India, it's also a big boost to our patients because they can go back to their activities. Now, uh, hi, I'm Dr. Rohit Sutra. I just gave a small introduction. I am uh, from Pune, I'm an orthopedic robotic surgeon. And uh, I uh, practice, uh, I was born in a, in a in Nasik. I was, uh, my, my, I come from a humble uh, family. Uh, my uh, father uh, had a shop which sold batteries and inverters. And uh, we had tough times that time, but I was always, uh, so these tough times and challenging times inspired in me to, uh, to uh, see how technology is changing li lives and how we can change, uh, technology can change procedures. So as I grew, I uh, uh, pursued being an orthopedic surgeon. And during my uh, orthopedic training, I saw how uh, technology was changing things in, in the West, how robotics and uh, uh, technology uh, the advances, the uh, computer navigation was, was changing that time. And that inspired me to uh, get uh, to use robotics in my field. And uh, so I, I was later on trained in Germany, France, and other European countries. Then uh, at, at that time, I got the opportunity to be uh, selected uh, as, as an employee in these countries. They offered me good jobs with better perspectives, more advantages, but I my, somehow my heart belonged to India. And I came back with a purpose to serve my country, and that's how I am here today. Uh, now coming to the demographics. So how things are changing. India is now the arthritic capital of the world. We have the largest population in the world and our population is changing. We have problems like hip arthritis, we have vascular necrosis and trauma. So this is causing a lot of uh, handicap in, in, the, in the patients who are unable to walk. So this is what we are we're seeing and roughly around 1.5 lakh hip replacement surgeries are done every year. Now when these surgeries are done with conventional approach, the recovery time is long. So a conventional approach means the, the approach in which the surgeons do the surgery from behind. So in which they are approaching the hip from posterior or lateral approach. Here, the major muscles are cut. And because these muscles are cut, the recovery time is longer. There is more bleeding. The patient is in the hospital for four to five days. He's, he's allowed to walk with a walker for one month. He cannot go to work for two months. So this is the main problem which was happening. Now, let's run some numbers. For example, uh, if a patient who has, uh, who's staying in the hospital with a conventional approach, so roughly four to five days, and if we compare the same patient uh, undergoing a hip surgery with direct anterior approach, who's staying in the hospital for only one to two days, so you're saving around two hospital bed days per patient. So if you calculate two to four bed days per patient, so if you calculate over 1.5 lakh surgeries over a year, that's around 6 lakh patient bed days saved. So this is not just uh, cost saving, it is capacity generation. So we, with this approach, we'll be able to treat more patients, especially in India where the healthcare is burdened with a population. The, uh, the general hospitals or government hospitals are full of patients. They are on the long waiting list. So this is very, very uh, effective. 
Now coming to some uh, income generation. For example, if a patient who undergoes the surgery in which he is undergoing uh, conventional surgery, he will be off work for two months, that is eight weeks. And the same patient, uh, if he undergoes a direct anterior port surgery, which is a short duration, he can go back to work in one to two weeks. So here we are saving around four weeks uh, for the patient. And for example, a simple laborer who is earning 500 rupees per day, if you calculate this over four weeks, this 500 rupees uh, uh, in a week is 3,500. Over four weeks is 14,000 rupees saved per patient. And if you calculate only 50,000 surgery, 50,000 laborers we operate in a year. So that's around 700 crore rupees saved by this simple approach, which we are trying to adapt in India and we are trying to bring a change. Now coming to uh, why this approach is, what is it? So basically, this is what is we call as direct anterior approach, in which we approach the hip from the front. The posterior approach or lateral approach is around 20 centimeters. So there is less blood loss. The patient is in the hospital for only one day. Now we are discharging the patient the same day of surgery. So it is faster and it is better than any other approach. So now coming to uh, the, num uh, the, the healthcare burden. India is burdened with a lot of patients. The healthcare system, we have poor penetration of insurances. So many patients are pay paying out of the pocket. They don't have insurance. So they, they're paying out of the pocket and most of them cannot afford this surgery. So a DA in these patients will be a game changer because the cost of surgery is less. They'll be not paying so much because the length of stay is less. They don't need much antibiotics and they'll be able to walk same day and go home on the same day. Now coming to the advantage of robotics. So what robotics is doing is, robotics is just started in India maybe a couple of years back. You all must have heard how robotics is uh, occupying most of our workstations, even medical, non-medical, other fields also. So robotics basically is a thing in which we are taking the help of the robotic arm to do the surgery. The robot actually is not performing the surgery. It is guiding the surgeon in performing the surgery. So the robotic arm is helping the surgeon in performing the planned surgery. So what we do in robotics is we do a CT scan of the patient. The CT scan is then uploaded on the robot and it gives you a 3D bone model of the patient. So in this, we plan the whole surgery by doing a 3D mapping of the hip. If it's mapped properly and the implant selection, the placement and the alignment is planned before the operation. So before I start operating, I know what implant I'm going to put, what implant is going to go where and how it's going to balance. So this gives a, a better and a safer uh, perspective for me to treat my patient because I'm already prepared with what consequences will happen. Now coming to why uh, this robot uh, robotic surgery is not being adapted in India until now. First of all, uh, the DA and the robotic surgery is because of the cost of the robot. As we all know that uh, mobile phones initially were much costlier, they have, the prices have come down eventually. With the robot also, the things are improving, they're getting better and better. Uh, uh, rates and as we scale up, the prices will further come down. Now coming to direct anterior approach. So why this approach is a game changer is because it, it can give guaranteed results. We can do both the hips on the same day of surgery and it can give exact alignment and balance on both the sides. So before this approach was not very popular, we used to do from posterior and this eliminated, this eliminated the uh, uh, the patient from undergoing both the hips at the same time. So the usual interval, the patient has both hips problem between two surgeries will be around three months. So in all, we're doing around six months of work. So that's a big, big issue. In DAA or diet approach, we, we can do both the hips on the same day and we can perform the surgery uh, using uh, uh, the same time, same anesthesia on the same day, one after the other. And the patient is walking within four hours of surgery. So that's how it is a game changer uh, in India. And uh, coming to uh, uh, this robotics, basically you can uh, like scale it up like the, the, uh, it's like Google Maps. If you we all know Google Maps, right? So for going to one place to another, uh, Google Maps sometimes can go AY, right? but robotics will not go AY because we, uh, the surgeon is in total control of the procedure. If something goes wrong, the surgeon can actually override and he can 
uh, change. So as of now, robotics is actually adding values to our, our searches. And uh, if, if you see uh, the other countries like U US and Europe, most of the surgeries over there are doing are done with the anterior coach. Almost seventy percent centers are doing this uh, surgery with uh, anterior approach and robotics. And the same trend is trying to come to India. And uh, but the problem is uh, bringing in India is the the surgeons are not aware of this. We were never been taught of this approach, and it needed a special table uh, which is called as the Hana table. And this table is roughly costing 1.5 crore rupees. So to implement this in India, again, we're talking about cost saving, but on the other hand, the table is very costly. So to, to avoid this big cost, what we have done is we have uh, uh, made a new innovative technique. We have tweaked some uh, uh, steps and we have uh, done a, a few uh, patented techn techniques in which we are doing this with uh, out, so we don't need a special table, and we are able to do the whole same surgery on a routine, normal table of operation later, in which you don't need any special table, and so you're saving that 1.5 crore rupees. And we are now started training various surgeons for this. So what we need now is to train surgeons who can adapt to this direct entry approach without the need of a direct and of the HANA table, and that's how we can scale it up and bring more and more surgeons. So. Uh, my target uh, is, you know, we, we want uh, surgeons to, to learn this technique. So uh, my, my vision is to uh, train more and more surgeons. I have trained already around 100 surgeons with this technique from all over India. And we're getting surgeons from Malaysia, Australia, Singapore to come to our centers. We have made a center of excellence in Pune for hip replacement surgeries to learn this robotic assisted direct anterior flow surgery. And this is how we're doing it. And we are training them. So basically, with robot, the surgery is like man. The steps are fixed. So there's no variation. So all patients will get the same result. So the rich man or the poor man will get exact same result. So there is no discrimination. And we can offer safe treatment all along. So that has been my goal. To get technology to, to the masses. And we get best results for all of them. So there's no discrimination. And there is standardization of all results in all patients. Now, coming to uh, how how we implement this. So uh, we we want India to be on the global map. We want India to be the medical Silicon Valley, so that we get we get patients of all over the world to come to India to learn this innovative technique. And we have started this so that patients are uh, going more faster. We involve our healthcare system so that there's less burden. For, for especially for Ayushman Bharat, if, if you see, even if we save two days of stay in a hospital, it will reduce the burden of uh, the the finances on the government of for re, uh, reimbursement of these patients who are undergoing different surgeries. So uh, one more thing is, you know, we we all want a a, a patient who undergoes hyperlipid surgery is he wants normal movements. He does not want to have restriction. So when if you compare the direct anterior approach with other approaches, is when you do it with a posterior or a lateral approach, the patient is advised by most of the surgeons that you should not sit down, you cannot squat, you cannot use Indian toilets, you should not run, you should not do this, you should not do that. So that's what is happening. With direct anterior approach, there is no restriction because you are not cutting any muscle. The movements are complete. The patient is able to sit down on the floor. He is able to walk. He is able to use Indian toilets. He is able to do all the routine activities with, with minimal pain. And he is able to get back to his work early without much of financial burden. Um, also, we need more awareness among the patients. We need to train. Uh, we need to educate patients that this is what it is. and this is how we want. We can give you better results. So if the patient is demanding better results, the, the system will evolve. Otherwise, we will continue doing the same old technique and we will never evolve. So you, you my guys, are the future of, of India, the, the future in your fields. You, maybe the next one, will be designing the new AI, who, which will map surgeries better. You are the guys who may be, you know, uh, redesigning the uh, recovery rooms for speed for, for a faster recovery of the patients. 
and this is what we should we should uh, we should uh, educate more and more people about this and we want you guys also to step up and think about what we can do in future also uh, the, the problem with the, uh, the other, other surgeries is you know the recovery time is very very long and patient is uh, uh, missing the work for almost two to three months with DA the recovery is faster and the patients are doing very well so for me uh, of uh, what my ideal is a treatment is effective when it gives peace of mind body and spirit without the worry of consequences. So robotics offers this peace of mind because it is eliminating the error which is which is there as far as human error. So robotic eliminates the human error and the patient we can give guaranteed result to our patients. Plus the direct entry approach is an approach which is a total intermuscular approach. We are not cutting any muscle. There is less bleeding, less pain, and the patients are able to do their routine activities with, with ease without much pain. So my take-home message for all of you is, you know, uh, I being a surgeon, I'm trying to get, to get this wave in India. It's called as DA wave. I have treated around more than 8,000 uh, patients with surgeries. And when I see my patients going home, walking without pain, with smiles on their face, the pain which they had for years together, that is what matters to me the most. And this is what uh, I feel is we should, we should target. And so that, that smile is, is the purpose. So I feel that um, when, when we uh, are treating a patient, we're not treating a patient just for the joint. We're treating a patient as a whole. We want to give them good results. And uh, this is uh, not just medicine. It is my purpose. It is my best on. So that's what I think uh, we should do. So I'll show you a few examples. So this is one of the patients who we did a surgery. We could do a marathon after surgery doing both the replacements. And uh, this is one patient. He, he himself is a doctor. He is practicing for triathlon after both the hip replacement. And uh, this is what the pharma we, we operated. So this is Immediately, uh, two weeks after surgery, he's able to do all his routine activities. He's able to uh, do his agriculture activities in two weeks of surgery. This is also one lady who had terrible fused hips, could not walk. She's able to walk in surgery. She's able to do her routine activities. This is a 16 year old boy with fused hips. He came to me with one arm stretcher. He was not able to walk. He missed his schooling. He could not give his board exams of 10 and he was on bed for three years and homebound for three years. Post surgery, he started walking and he's doing something active. He finished his schooling, finished his board exams, now he's in his college. So, this approach is a game changing approach and we see fantastic results. Also, this one of the patients who's the dancer, he's doing his uh, dance post surgery and uh, absolutely uh, doing everything like normal. So, Hip arthritis is not the end of life. There is a cure to it. So you go to the right doctor, the right technique, and you can get the right results. So this is uh, a day, day zero recovery, day one recovery. Patient is walking, dancing in the hospital, able to do all his routine activities without much pain. So this is what it is. So thank you so much, India League Training. We are planning to train more and more surgeons from all over the world. We are getting surgeons from uh, Asia Pacific region, from other countries. And uh, that's how it's happening. So, so thank you.